Hey everyone, this is David B. And I wanted to make a quick video because today I got my COVID vaccine. You can see my nice blue band-aid. So I thought I would just briefly talk about what that process is like here in the United States. And I'm from Pennsylvania, but I'm currently living and working in New York State um, for three months. I'll be here one more month. And my original plan was to wait until I got home to Pennsylvania in June before even worrying about getting the COVID vaccine because I wasn't sure if I was able to get it, if I'm from out of state, and I work every day, so I was a little worried about side effects. But um, a couple people kept mentioning it, uh, mentioning it to me, and um, my age group has been eligible for a couple weeks now. So I eventually looked into it and found that, yeah, I since I work in New York and I live here also currently, um, I can just get a note from my boss saying that I work in the state and that was enough. So um, I started looking online and um, I scheduled an appointment less than a week ago. It's very easy. There's tons of open appointments. Um, there's more vaccine available right now than there is demand for it. So um, I think it was probably like five days ago I scheduled an appointment and you can even get them quicker than that. Um, I ended up getting my vaccine at Wegmans, which is a um, grocery store chain, very, very famous in this part of the country, especially here in Rochester, New York, where it's based out of. And um, so I, I signed up online. And um, anyway, just today, just went to the store, and it's actually in the cafe area. You... Um, you go around there and they have an area set up. I, I scheduled my appointment for 6.30 p.m., so it was after work. And um, there were two employees there. One took my paperwork, so um, I just needed to show an ID, which could have been a driver's license, but I used my passport. And then um, I showed her the note from my company that said that I work here in New York. And um, I'm trying to think what else. I think she asked me... Uh, a few basic questions, you know, about health insurance and about, um, she asked for my phone number, just, you know, just some very basic, um, questions to fill out the paperwork doing the preliminary steps. And, um, I should say that there's no charge at all. Even if you don't have insurance, they don't charge you anything. Um, if you do have insurance, they would just use that to get reimbursed. But if you don't have insurance, you never have to pay anything. And, um, so when she was done, she gave me my paperwork and I handed it to the other woman and we went into a little um, a little booth and she asked me a few questions that was basically um, regarding health just um, you know do you feel sick today are you allergic to any of these things have you ever had a bad reaction to a vaccine in the past just some very simple questions like that and um, and then she gave me the shot you know I, she had me sign the paper and then gave me the shot and um, my appointment was at 6.30. I think I probably walked up to them about like 6.27. And after the shot, I looked at my watch. It was 6.31. So the whole thing took less than five minutes. And then um, they had a, a little waiting area where you have to wait 15 minutes um, after your shot just to make sure that um, you don't have any reaction to it. Um, there are some people who have... Um, immediate reactions um, to vaccines that could be quite severe. So um, that's just a precaution for most people. Um, it's not an issue. Um, but as far as the shot itself, um, I've never had a problem getting shots. So, you know, you feel a little bit go into your arm. Um, doesn't it, it doesn't hurt. Um, I guess right away I kind of felt a little soreness in my arm, um, but, but that's it. Um, Although now that I've had the vaccine, it's like every little ache in my body is like, I wonder if that's a side effect of the vaccine. Um, but no, so far I feel fine. And um, if I'm going to get side effects, it seems like it'll be in the next day or two. That seems to be the case for people. I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Um, there's three vaccines available. There's Pfizer and Moderna and then Johnson & Johnson. And the Pfizer vaccine is two shots that you get three weeks apart. Moderna is two shots you get four weeks apart, and Johnson & Johnson that I got is just one dose. So I'm completely vaccinated now. Um, well, I should say I'm done getting my shots. I just have to get the, the shot the one time, which I did, 
and then in two weeks I'll be considered fully vaccinated. So, um, so I'm done and, uh, they gave me uh, a little card, which I guess is the important thing, a card that, that shows that you've been vaccinated and, um, we'll see what that means for the future as far as like being able to travel and stuff. And, um, I almost, um, you know, I wasn't rushing to get vaccinated, but there's, I think it'll make me more comfortable. I had some friends who said, you know, we want to have you over for dinner before you leave. And that's part of the reason that I went with Johnson and Johnson, because two weeks from today, I'll be considered fully vaccinated. Um, if I had gone with Pfizer, it would be three weeks from today till I get my next shot. And then another two weeks until I was considered fully vaccinated. So, um, Johnson and Johnson was just the quickest one for me. So anyway, um, very simple process. Um, like I said, free of charge, you just schedule it and show up and it takes literally five minutes. Plus you have to wait 15 minutes afterwards. So, um, that was my experience with the, with the COVID vaccine. And, you know, I, I, beforehand i was watching a lot of videos doing research should i get the vaccine should i not get it and um, in the end i decided to get it you know there's a risk if you take it there's a risk if you don't take it and um so i made the decision to go with the johnson and johnson vaccine so um use with that information what you will i think uh, some people will watch this to practice their english and maybe there's other people who just stumbled across this video um looking for COVID information. So, um, but yeah, it was a very simple process, no problems for me. And um, maybe I'll post an update in a couple of days to see about, um, to let you know if I ended up getting any side effects. This is David B. Thanks for watching.